What's up guys? My name is McKinsey and this is episode 16 of my daily design series. So in today's design, I uh, continued what I did from episode 12 and 15 and I continued to explore the uh, Facebook redesigns. Today specifically, I focused on a uh, mobile version of the Facebook feed. So uh, since screen real estate is such a precious uh, resource on uh, mobile since it's so small, I really had to determine what was the most important elements and what could uh, be hidden or uh, just gotten rid of completely. So uh, let's jump in and you can see how we go about this. So designing for mobile, uh, whether that be a responsive design or a native application, it is a, a whole different beast than a, uh, a desktop site. There's a limited amount of pixels, so you have to be very picky with what you show and what you don't, uh, because there's only a uh, predetermined amount of space and only so much content you can throw on there. So one thing to consider when designing for mobile is that the user does not click with a mouse, instead they click with their fingers. So when spacing elements, it's a fine line between on one hand, uh, having enough room to click a individual element without clicking others, and on the other, making good use of all the space and not wasting the valuable uh, real estate on a mobile device.
though the exact same layout wouldn't work on uh, mobile compared to desktop, I still think having a, uh, a unique grid-like layout for the photos is the way to go about it. But obviously we would want to uh, stack them and crop them uh, a bit differently on mobile compared to desktop. Alright guys, that wraps up episode 16. I really hope you enjoyed this episode and of course I would love to hear your thoughts on this design. Um, obviously this challenge is all about daily practice so I want to see you get involved and create a daily design along with me. So if you create a design for the Facebook mobile feed version thing, uh, paste a link to it in the comments below so I can take a look. I would love to see what your take on this design is. Before I go, I want to ask you a favor go uh, follow me on Instagram. I've been posting all my designs there. I would love it if you went and followed me um, and added a comment saying hello. I would love to hear from you guys. My username is McKinsey Child, and I will add a link to it in the description below. And of course, be sure to come back here tomorrow for another design.